What's up, Marker Heads? It's Karen from Art by Karen Haley, and today I'm bringing you the letter E from my alphabet series. Uh, the reason why I decided to do the letter E for eel is kind of um, a long story. I don't know. I really didn't want to do elephant because everybody does elephant in their alphabet books. And even though I really like elephants, um, I really didn't want to do them because I feel like every alphabet book has an elephant in it. <laughs> so uh, that's the same reason why I chose to do alpaca rather than apple. Um, some of the other ones that I considered doing were elk and egg. <laughs> uh, however, I didn't do egg because there were already chickens in the book. And I didn't want to do elk because there were already alpacas in the book, and um, I would just been doing a lot of animals that were above ground, and I thought, well, maybe I can do something that lives underwater. And so that's why I'm doing the uh, eel drawing, <laughs> and I think that it worked out really great. I had a blast working on this. I actually watched Bailey J stream the mermaid she did for her uh, cheap art challenge, which... Um, really helped me to get into the mood of drawing an underwater stream. I apologize if you hear clicking, there's actually a cat chewing food back there and it's making a lot of noise. I've been sitting up, it's now midnight, I've been waiting till everyone goes to bed so I can record this and now the cat's eating food. Uh, anyway, so, um, the stream that Bailey J was doing was underwater themed and so it really helped me to get into the mood of working on this drawing and um, I, I really enjoyed it. I was really glad that she's been doing streams so that was a lot of fun. Uh, I did not stream this drawing at all. Normally I do do a live stream of uh, my artwork um, but for this one I just decided, decided to kick back and let someone else do that <laughs> while I just sat and enjoyed it and it was a lot of fun. Uh, so you'll see my arm reach across the page every once in a while, and um, that's when I'm typing in the chat or or looking up references because I did I did decide to look up a lot of references for this picture, and I think that it really shows, especially with the eel and the um, uh, and sea and enemies, and yeah, that was a lot of fun. What I tried to do in this drawing that I haven't done before is um, the fan coral. And I like the one that's sticking off to the side and is overlapping the background water. I like that one, but this one that I'm working on right now, I'm not such a big fan of. I don't like it all that much. I think that the other one looks much more natural. It looks much more like it grows from that center point, whereas this one I think it kind of lost that look. As, it, as I tried to make it look like it was coming closer to the viewer, I think I kind of messed up on that one a little bit. But it is what it is, and you can tell what it is, so at least there's that. Um, what I, Some other things that I tried that were new were the sea anemones and the brain coral, which you'll see later on, and I'll talk about those when I'm coloring them. Uh, the color palette you guys are seeing here is pretty much the same exact colors that I used in the drawing of the dinosaur for the letter D. And I just, all the markers were down uh, on the table and I just had them ready to go. I forgot to do a um, markers, like, panning shot over all of the markers that I had um, been using for this. But they were basically the same ones that I used in the uh, T-Rex drawing, the dinosaur drawing. So if you want to know what they were, you can go ahead and kind of look in that video. Um, I did use a lot more blue in this one, and that one's more greens, but they're all the same colors. Um, some things that really challenged me with this piece was the, um, the texture of the rock, like what I'm doing right now. I'm putting little pits, like holes in the rock. And I, I think that like I like the way it looks, but um, I wasn't so sure about it when I was drawing it at the time. So here I am doing some of the brain coral, and you can see what I did was I basically made a big lump with 
green and a darker green and then I went over it with a light blue color I believe that was BG 10 and I um, used that light color to push the ink away and make squiggles in the shape of the brain coral and then I touched it up and made some areas brighter with the colorless blender so that was really fun and I I made one and then I decided oh that was really cool and I like the way that it looks and the background just seemed really bare and very just bland with all of the gray and so I decided to put in a lot of brain coral so you'll see me adding in a bunch more of those um, so next week you guys will be getting the letter F of course that will be fireflies I have not done that drawing yet so uh, it'll be a bit of a time crunch for me but I hopefully will get that one done before Friday next week I'm also working on a lot of commissions so I have a pretty full stream schedule. Um, I'm probably streaming as this is going up because it is, uh, I'm going to be streaming from 9.30 to 3 on Friday and that's going to be a long stream you guys. I do take a break in the middle because my son needs to take his nap and uh, have his lunch and all that good stuff but I will be streaming for a while tomorrow so. <laughs> if this, if it's still around that time, come and join me. Uh, also, I want to talk a little bit about Patreon because I did launch my Patreon last week, and or maybe it was the week before that. And my sketchbook is past the halfway mark because we're halfway through the month, and I have done a lot of neat stuff. I haven't posted my most recent work to my Patreon yet. I have from. I believe day 13 up until today to post and I'll be posting those once I'm done recording this audio. <laughs> um, so if you are interested in seeing those cool uh, exclusive sketches, you can pledge one dollar or more and that will get you a raffle to win the little sketchbook. So uh, that's pretty neat and I'm pretty excited about the sketchbook because I'm kind of I'm doing little practices and tests, and I'm using a lot of different mediums that I don't normally use. Um, and I'm uh, working out ideas and things like that. And I even did a little drawing collab with my sister in one of them, so that one's pretty fun. Uh, a lot of colored pencils and paints and uh, marker. Anyway, so that's basically most of what I have to talk about. Oh, I'm sorry, um, about the uh, non-drawing stuff. I kind of want to come back and tell you what I'm doing here. I was trying to add the shadow in under that fan brush and it did not work out very well. And then right over here I put in a really dark cast shadow under that fin, uh, which I don't think works out all that great. Like I think I drew it in way too dark um, and I don't really care for it all that much. And you'll see there I colored over with that big circle that I put in um, with uh, like shadow from the water <laughs> because I put that circle in for the eye and then looked at reference and realized the eye is much closer to the end of the snout on the eel so I'm kind of like doing that to fix that mistake and that's why looking at reference really pays because I didn't look at reference when I first put that face together on this guy and uh, looking at the reference really helped me to fix that. Um, luckily I did fix the way that the fin looked because it was pretty bad. <laughs> um, and I put in a much darker shadow so you could see that the eel was curving upwards. And I really, really do like the way that this piece turned out. I'm pretty proud of this one. It's one of my favorite ones I've done so far. And I hope that the next one will be <laughs> will live up to this one. Um, anyway, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this picture. I'm nearing the end of it now, and uh, all I have left to color is the sea anemones. Um, what I did for the sea anemones was I colored in with a very light blue-green for most of it, um, trying to make sure that I left some of the lightest areas or the palest pink that I have, and I kind of did a blend of blue and pink. I used reference that had a blue sea anemone that had 
like little pink baby sea anemones sprouting around it. <laughs> it was really cute and um, kind of a nice color combination. And so I tried to port that over into my piece. I really like the way that the sea anemones turned out. And um, what I'm doing here is uh, with the, sea the colorless blender, I'm coming in and kind of lightening up some of the lighter tendrils of the <laughs> of the um, sea anemone. And then I came back with my color that I used for the rock, and I'm putting in the negative shapes that you see between the little, like, sea anemone tentacles. <laughs> and then I come back with BG45 for the fine detailing. And I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I'm gonna repeat the process for this other sea anemone, and it's kind of different because I have to think about um, the because the sea anemone has like a bald spot in the center. Basically, uh, I had to think about how that would be like hollow, and it would be kind of shaped like a tentacly cup. <laughs> so um, I tried to make it look not like it was completely full of tentacles, but like hollow in the middle. And I don't know if I succeeded or not, but that was something I was thinking about when I was drawing it, so... I don't know. Um, and to, to illustrate the tendrils against the edge of the sea anemone, I had to darken the stump of it or whatever, its stem, um, in order for you guys to see the tendrils coming over the edge. And then here I am again, putting in the rock color between them. And that kind of really helps to define the shape, and it because the Copics blend so well together, the, the um, rock marker that I used really made it, like, it really seamlessly blended together, which was really nice, because I was kind of worried about that when I was doing it. That was my dog. <laughs> well, my, my mother-in-law's dog walking by. She's got the clickety toes. Uh, so here I'm doing the the little baby sea anemones, and they gave me a lot more trouble. Um, and because they were pink, I decided to add some pink areas in other parts of the picture, just to kind of bring it together. And it's barely detectable, really, but there's a little bit of pink on the fin of the eel, and a little bit on a snout. And Anyway, here's the uh, full shot of the picture. I really hope that you guys like it. I'll give you some close-ups and then pull back and show you the finished piece. I love this picture and the way it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, if you want to get a print of it, they will be available on the 3rd of December on my Etsy shop. And uh, you'll be able to order prints for all of the um, Alphabet series pieces that I've done up to that date. And uh, as they are created, I will add more of them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.